Erin and Brandon. We're an engaged couple who are chasing our passion projects while slow traveling the world before getting married in 2021. Follow our journey and stay tuned. So we've been working today, but we're about to head out to lunch to this rooftop hotel place that looks pretty good. After lunch, we're gonna head to Sankalp's house to celebrate the Kite Festival, which goes on for two days here in Jaipur, and today is the first day. The Kite Festival is a multi-day event filled with thousands of kites filling the skies, lanterns floating up to the heavens, and fireworks colorfully painting the night air. However, hidden behind the beauty was an intense competition of people fighting with their kites to try to bring down their neighbors. Everyone has their own strategy on how to accomplish this goal, and some even add razor blades to the tails of their kites. When you successfully bring down another kite, you yell out Vukata in celebration, which I got to do twice. Day two of the kite festival in Jaipur, but at night when it gets dark, lanterns.
we are approaching sunset and Soundclub is picking us up to go to Nargar Fort. It's an hour outside the city, but apparently it has amazing views for sunset. <laughs> Having some beers and paneer, watching the fireworks. So we're leaving Jaipur, heading to Jodhpur, and if you can't tell, we got new luggage. So it's a bit of a learning curve trying to repack and get used to the new setup that we have. So really what we gotta do is just put all your weight on the bag. And then from there you can zip it up. our last meal in Jaipur and we got paneer tikka, dal makhani, of course, because that's our favorite, and butter naan. Now we're waiting for our Uber to take us to the bus station to go to Jodhpur. <laughs> we're at the bus stop, which seems to be a crazy spot every time we're here. Uh, and we have about 20 minutes before our bus comes, so hopefully it comes again. And we're kind of just in the middle of the street. And we're off. A bit of chaos ensued, as always, it's India. But now we're on our way. Three and a half hours in, about three hours left of the drive, and we stopped for some food, I guess. People just getting off the bus. Yeah, I give a people off too. So we ended up being the only people on the bus uh, after that last stop. Everybody else got off and it was just us for the remaining three, three and a half hours to, um, where are we? For the three and a half hours remaining to go to Jodhpur. So we just got dropped off here, but there's literally only one Uber running in Jodhpur right now. So we're sitting here waiting for that Uber to come. Finally into our Airbnb, and it's actually really nice. This is our living room. We actually have two bedrooms again. For some reason, we feel the need to book two bedroom places. That's the master suite over there. This is our guest bedroom. There's even an exercise bike, so maybe Aaron will run spin class. Also, a really nice kitchen. We're very tired. I think we're both just gonna hit the pillow and go to sleep. Ready to say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Standing on the street, and a guy literally goes up to Brandon and says, Aaron Lyons? They were looking for us, the bus company. <laughs> it's like a 20 minute walk away from where we need to be. Oh my god. It's a donkey. 